Astro Hayes. We were gone. We were oh. gone. There we are. Okay, good. So, all right. Let her rip, Vaughn. Vaughn, hello. Hi. What's <laughs> up? Hey, y'all. <laughs> and welcome to our very first Game of Thrones recap of season Ooh. eight, y'all. We have been waiting two years. Two. Four. Long, long, long ass years to get to this day. I mean, started from Colorado, sitting around a laptop, catching up on every single episode from every season just to survive. <laughs> um, our accelerator. This was our therapy. Game of Thrones uh, was the glue <laughs> that held us pleasantly together when the going got tough. Yes. So, yes, indeed. And Sarita, who had seen Game of Thrones before, watched it for the first time with Kaylee and I as we were introduced to this phenomenal, the phenomenal series that is Game of Thrones. The phenomenal series that, that is Game of Thrones. I mean, this Game of Thrones has infiltrated Estro Hayes in ways you couldn't believe. I mean, it's even been a part of our pitch deck. I mean, it's, I mean, it's been a part of our presentation out to the world. Like, that's how far and deep we relate to this. So it's only right. That we could it's only right to recap <laughs> with you people talking about this episode, y'all. Let's jump right the fuck in. It was okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> I mean, where do we? Where do we even? Where do you even want? It? Where do you even? Start? So okay, what? let's start with you know them. I don't know if we want to start with the kid running. Okay. Start out with the kid running. Do we want to start with that? Okay. I'm okay. I didn't know what to make. I didn't know what to make of it. I, I know don't know what to make of it. I know exactly what to make of it. It was very much so, and I thought it, I, right when I saw it, I, I directly connected it to Arya. Like it's just a little now. Him running, he did seem fearful when he was first running through. Like, yeah, yeah. And I he was, did. I was like, did he see the White Walker? Because y'all remember that like, the first episode of the series, how when the guys were out in battle, one saw the White Walker and ran back. He ended up getting yeah. his ass out because his ass ran back. He should have stayed yep. out. So yep. it did remind me of that. Yeah, I'm like maybe the little kids saw that and then ran back. Then I'm like, well, then he got distracted by the army in that part around the army. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't know. I thought that he maybe saw a White Walker. I didn't know if the kid had any significance, but whatever he saw, he was very, very scared of, and he was running. And I was like, but I figured it's going to be some kind of significance coming around. You know how Game of Thrones do, but mm -hmm. I was kind of I didn't know who the who the hell that kid was. I was, I, I low key, I was so impressed. Like when Sansa asked, you know, Lord Umber, I wasn't expecting his little ass to pop up. I'll tell you that. I was like, oh, wait, 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 the little boy, the little boy. Remember, <laughs> ex, she was like, I called everyone's banners and was asking him about where his horses and the men were. And remember, he popped mm -hmm. up and he know he know who to address. He was like, hey, my lady, my queen, <laughs> my queen, my lord, her. <laughs> I need some more hoses and some wagons. I was like, oh, <laughs> we need stuff, y'all. Y'all want to help me need stuff. What you need, child. We'll get you what you need. I mean, we gotta talk about, you know, I, I love the way the unsully kind of went through John and Danny walking going through on their horses, but, but the uh, northerners are not here for, for, for a lot, I feel. I thought it was cold in the D. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I said, well, damn, but, there are some. And y'all know, we'll, we'll get deeper into this. Y'all know I got, I have weird issues with Jon Snow. And we've talked about this <laughs> before. And we'll talk about this a little more. But I kind of felt the northern is all right. Like, you just, so you leave the king and you come back with this lady. And now we're, we're, we have all this Dothraki and this Unsullied. And like, you come changing the whole landscape because you decide to bend the knee. And the question was valid when he was asked why he bent the knee. But yeah. But, you, but I also it was felt, very valid. I felt like Daenerys too, though. Like, first of all, y'all needed us. Like, we all need each other at this point. Like, we we all are going to die. This white king ain't he? He coming for everybody. I watched out two dragons, two whole ass armies. What y'all had? Cold and disease. It's cold here. My dragons <laughs> don't even like it. Like, they're I'm, not eating right. We're not even. I just bonded with John. Like, we could have been back. Living lavish. So, but one thing, but you know what? One thing to speak to your point about Jon Snow, who is really not Jon Snow. Who's not Jon? Who? Yes. But 
every time people just try to throw shit on Jon Snow. He never asked for any of these titles. I understand. Ever. He he pledged his loyalty to the North, and that is exactly what he did. He brought two dragons and two armies back to save the North. Because, I mean, I was, he was like, it's, it's not even, like, about the titles. Like, who, he was like, who the fuck is that? And that's about here. Yeah. No, that's my issue. Queen Daenerys, and she was wearing me out with them damn titles. I was like, girl, oh, girl, 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 we gonna die. It won't matter. It's like her and these dragons, but then it's like when you called out, like, you, yeah, but you actually missing a dragon, so. Like, you know what I'm Okay, so <laughs> let's win a bronze. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a whole brand, brand, I mean, because those are facts. Those are those are. But you know, she, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, her ego is starting to take the lead. It seems like even how she's trying to shade signs a little bit. I know signs of her. I mean, I love that little tension. I love that. Oh, I actually that, really that, love that. I love that. Little I love tension. that. When she walked up and said, "Um, it's almost but um, so, um, Daenerys like it's almost as beautiful as you." Sansa kind of looked at her like, <sighs> Sansa. Hey, girl. Sansa one here. You know what? But I will say, you know, I agree with you guys about Daenerys right now. She she's smelling herself, but she's acting entitled like any of the other fucking kings. She's doing the same thing that any of the other kings would do. Her, 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 focus, her point, her platform is that she's different from all the others. That's what true. She's- I agree, and that's what's so interesting about it because how she's falling quick. for her own hype right now. Who'd you say? That she's like falling for her own hype right now. Falling for her own hype. I mean, in the worst way, it's like, girl, I mean, have you not noticed who has the real power here? Like, you can't, you you, you act like you're leading Jon Snow, but you're kind of really following his ass. Like, you're really not sitting as high and mighty up as you think. You are vulnerable. You less me. You just lost the fucking dragon. I think mm. she needs to, to kind of level off a little bit. Like, Daenerys, I like you, but you gotta kind of chill. <laughs> Oh, I like the and I do I even like the power she has with the dragons, but mentally I don't think she's quite Sansa. I don't think she's been through what Sansa's been through. No. Mm-hmm. She's mentally equipped for warfare the way Sansa is, so she kind of need to fall the fuck back. Yeah. That's what I Sansa is a I, I appreciate her journey. I appreciate Sansa's journey. Because let me tell you one thing about Sansa. Even when she was not in well, when she was in less than desirable, like horrible positions, like with Joffrey and everybody else, like ramping crazy ass. I mean, Sansa has always been the, a lady, though. Like, she ain't never had to really struggle, like, to, I mean, she struggled in a lot of different ways. Yeah. yeah. But she always done had, had a meal and some clothes on her back in every situation. But that's what Arya, when Arya said she's the smartest person I know, first of all, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about Arya, but when she said she's the smartest person I know, it's like, Sansa knows how to survive. Like, y'all ain't never seen, but like, she survived in, in the most dire circumstances, something she can't even speak on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just gruesome and, and, and unlikely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The fact that she's still standing, and as a lady, bad this bitch, too. This, like, mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I appreciate the journey. When I say, when Sansa is serious, seriously step onto the scene, though, it just be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this back, what, what um, Dr. Uma saying? So, titties up. Titties up. Don't <laughs> <laughs> want to walk out. Titties up. Titties up. Titties up. Titties up. <laughs> You know, I, I gotta ask, I gotta ask y'all because I was on set the other day and we were talking about the episode because everybody's talking about the episode, right? Mm-hmm. And I didn't notice it then, but one of the PAs was like, "You know, nobody died. Like, you know, no, you know, no major people died." And I was like, "You know, that's true." And she was like, "I thought the episode was like okay," and I was like, "What? I thought it was a great." Like a really good opener that left a lot more questions wow. than yeah. Even looking at it again for a second time, I was like, "Oh, I didn't see that." Or oh, I said I watched the second time today, and I think it was amazing how they left laid the groundwork so much so that it's scary because if you know Game of Thrones, yeah, you know they're gonna take you know they're gonna t- they're building you up to take somebody y'all. Storm, if I ain't never seen one before. Man. Everybody's come together. Everyone's found their long lost this and that. Loose ends are tied. Jon Snow finds out who he is. I wasn't expecting that in the first time. All of that. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, though, 
that he found out in the first episode. Because that makes the whole season that's going to play so well. Ooh. Episodes, y'all know how they get. Yeah, I'm scared. The, the episode. I, yeah, I feel like the war is going to be the upcoming episode. I was like, is this it, I, I think it is. It's kicking yeah. off. It feels way too close. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> this feels way too close. Too. I'm like, people saying it's too calm. I'm like, this was an easy. This was almost an easy and so smooth that it made me anxious. Like, oh god. <laughs> But like you both said, it laid groundwork. And I think that, yeah. you know, we needed to know all that. Like, it was necessary for Sam to know that Danny murdered his fucking... Ooh. I mean, I how did that affect things? You know what I'm saying? Like, So can we put a pin in really quick to talk about the performances from these actors, y'all? Oh, yeah. When Sam well found out that his father and his... Like, the emotion, the bubbling of emotion and then your brother too when she, when that 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 moment of breaking almost breaking him and him asking him to be excused oh like, oh that was rough i believed i believed every bit of it yeah moment i did too when jamie saw brand i know we need to get Ooh. 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 that really did shake me up though on his face when i say these actors that moment on his face oh, like he saw and brand you know brand sitting there like mm -hmm, hey, bitch. Brand, Brand was Brand petty Brand and waited Brand. out there that long. I'm waiting on an old friend. I did not put two and two together at all. I'm and waiting. when that fool turned around, and because he now, because Jamie had a look of you know, the kind a little bit of disgust. That's what I read. Like, oh god, here we go back in the north again. That's where the shit went down. Like, oh, <laughs> and he turned around, and them eyes got fixed. Yeah. And then, I said, oh shit. And I knew it. I said, he come that music. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> and you knew it, right? Because when you saw that look, you said, but when I say that, that emotion, that moment of, of him seeing that, everything that he thought was conveyed. And I think that is just a testament of why the show has yeah. the yeah. way it was. Because these actors, the same, guys, fully entranced, fully encapsulated by this whole, it's an experience, mm -hmm. guys. I'm talking about, Finding myself not breathing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Finding myself just really on the edge of every word. It's just completely well done. I also, I want to talk about this, guys. I'm so, I find Aria to be so mysterious. I love her. I love her character so much. Tell me, did anybody catch the moment? And if this was a moment for y'all, because maybe it wasn't a moment, but to me it was like a moment like, oh shit. When she, when she saw Jon Snow again, of course that's big because you know mm -hmm. how much we get to each other. Um, when she hugged him and told him, don't forget what he said, that he knows that he's family too, and she told him, don't forget it. Yep. Said, Is that a threat? That's, I took it <laughs> as part threat. Part, part reminder, part act if you want to. <laughs> I, did nobody I, kinda, I felt a little bit. If you, if you missed, if you, if you, watch you know it. You know what I watched again, you shit. All I kept, you know what I thought was, that ain't your brother, that's the king, babe, so. That's not your brother, girl. I just, because I feel like they all kept making, making references to family. Didn't, didn't they, like, Bron, like, well, except for Bron, because he know the damn truth. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, no, like, that ain't my brother. I ain't even him. So I'm, I'm the three, I, Brandon, I don't know how many times I got to explain this to you. <laughs> I love oh, what you said. I'm almost. He said, what did that mean? He said, almost. I what said, did that mean? What did that mean, y'all? Wait, wait, so wait. What did he, what happened now? Because somebody well, said that was John went, John arrived and he saw Brand sitting there and he went up to him and kissed his head and he said, look at you. You're a man now. And Brand said, almost. Almost. What the hell was that? What did that mean? I'm thinking, so then, but after he said almost, he looked at the nets. So I'm like, is he going to hunch the <laughs> After he said, God, he said, that's what he said. He said, you know, Brand got that stoic. That stoic ass look. I feel like I got them, them numbers going across my face. That, that different old lady, because I am, because now, really what did the dragon look? know? Did y'all see the way that dragon looked at Jon Snow at the end? He's like, no. He's saying, what? Because he, he's not saying that. No, he's saying, that's nasty. Y'all didn't do <laughs> Y'all shouldn't do that. That's man. Nope. So, that ain't it. <laughs> I, I said, how did they get a dragon to look like that? That is an expression. That that's right. That's that brand saying almost gets. I mean, that means he's gonna kill Because you know they feel like you're a man when you get blood on your knife, when you get when you have sex, when you so when what does it mean when he said almost? 
And then I was like, well, maybe it's because he done told y'all he the three hour raven, so maybe he. I don't. I but almost means he's gonna get there eventually. He's going to be a man. I don't know. It if threw me he off. Ends like, up on Iron Throne. I, I just he's right, but let me tell y'all what confused me right. too. So listen, y'all. The the, right. the, the the dragons only let um Targaryens ride. Mm-hmm. So how can the Night King ride the dragon? Exactly. I thought the same thing. I was like, he's the Mad King or one of them motherfuckers. He's the father. I was like, he well, gotta be a target. Yeah. I got the same ride thing. dragons, and I see the little motherfucker riding a dragon. So yep. that you wonder yep. if he the Mad King. This is. I wonder oh, too. What, what you say through this? Is? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, this is my shit right now because we decided <laughs> this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute though, because. Because the Night King, though, has been undead since the Children of the Forest, I thought. He oh. was. And that's why <clears throat> it threw me off, too. But I'm like, well, is that the case? Was that the first Night King? Has there been more Night more Kings? More of them, yeah, no. that's possible. Because they could be more to what Bran might end up one at the end. Because, you know, the Night, I, I'm like, the Night, when he was touched by the Night King, I'm like, did that do some? Because I feel like Bran might be. God, he was touched. He it's was touched. It's a, it, it's it's Bron got his own truths he need to reveal. Yes. But the, everybody else tea. He needs to tell his own tea. Hey. In this episode, oh, he is my favorite. This episode, Brian just be looking at people and just turning it all with his looks. Yo, the memes. I cannot with the memes about Bran. I cannot. He got one for baby boy. Does Bran be just like that? Yeah, but why do you look up at Tyrion like that? Do you do you guys remember when Tyrion was talking to Son, talking to Son? Yes. Yeah. Yep. On the on the. On the deck or whatever that balcony thing. And he said to her, you know, my wife, you my wife kind of left right after the... Yeah. I, and it, I thought it was tender when he referred to her as his, his wife, too. I was like, oh, y'all was married. <laughs> but I did agree with her, like, you are Tyrion. This is your sister. You believe this? Like, and that, that, I didn't like this in Tyrion. Tyrion, you're getting off your pimping, bro. Like, what's going on? He is. He is. You were the cleverest man I know. And she walks off. She's so shady. She walks off. She did. Oh, she was like, I'm disgusted. <laughs> But then it was after she walked off, Bran was looking up in a way, yeah. a knowing ass way. I'm like, is Tyrion staring at everybody? Huh? He keeps staring at everybody like he, he knows really everybody. All damn day waiting for his old friend. He, I said, you sat out here in this rain, in this snow, I mean, this mud. You see that? I said, oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are y'all going to talk about? <laughs> hey, Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't even need to talk. No, nope. it was oh, oh. and that's all he wanted. Brand just wanted him to wanted that reaction right there. I wanted this is a mess. I think Jamie gonna go over there and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jamie gonna go. He gonna, he gonna have to because this. Oh my this, god! This okay, but all right now, look, y'all. Can we back up for a second? Can we okay. back up for a second? Yeah. When, the Night's Watch in the Wildlings. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we're both get squadding up and yeah. they realized yeah. that they came around the corner and it was both of them. And then they went in the cut and they saw yeah. the sign from Night King. Yo, that was scary. What is the wheel? What is that pinwheel? What is that? No, I've read articles about that and you just say, it told us nothing. Nothing. I said, it just reminded us of all the times. <laughs> that we had seen that symbol before. I said, so we don't know exactly no, what it means. Time, can you give me an example? So maybe okay, you- so remember, and one of like, it might have been the first season when they were out in the snow. It was like the, the Night's Watch was going out and they had killed a whole bunch of cattle and the cattle was in that. That's, yeah. They arranged it. Like, they arranged it. And then another time was, remember when they were looking for the dragon glass? They were in the caves and they had the drawings by the children of the forest. Oh. They had the symbols there. And I think it was one more time that the article listed but at the end of the day, still didn't tell us what the fuck they meant. I said, okay. And then for that little boy to come, I'm like, ah, girl. <laughs> that was scary. I said, so is Game of Thrones a horror? A horror? I felt bad for that little boy because that was the little umber boy. And I said, so he had to die twice. He had to get yeah. killed by the White Walkers, however that death was. And he's he was, remember, he was stuck up on there. So they knifed him up yeah. there. Then they killed him again with the damn fire. And he's burning up. And I said, damn. He just wanted some horses and some wagons. That's who that was? That was a little Umber boy. That was Lord Umber. 
Safran looked like she got some new news. <laughs> See, that's some shit, then I didn't know that. I didn't know that was him. <laughs> I just thought, who's this little fella? They got pinned up like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we we did not talk about the Ooh. opening sequence either. Y'all saw the wall was down in the opening sequence. Oh, beautiful! That opening. Y'all saw that right in the dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I said, oh, they got the, that was it. They got the wall down. Oh, that's the middle part though. You just gotta come through that. Yeah, but I, we saw that happen in the last episode with the with the with the, with the dragon. I know, but I just I was like, they done changed the whole intro. The show. It did, it didn't, and that end, that ending, that music. Y'all heard it was a loose. I said, "Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> what it did." If they slowed it down, and then yeah. they put a little, little violin beat in there. I don't know if it was a violin, <laughs> but <laughs> Yo, some, some strings. Some strings. Okay. Yeah, nah, it was dope. It was, it was incredible. It was incredible. I just keep thinking about: Are your two dragons enough for an evil dragon? That's what I want to know. Because the <laughs> evil dragon don't have to eat, it don't have to sleep. It don't have to do nothing, and it don't die. What is dead may never die. So, I mean, they, it, it, it's like, so what do you do with that? Because your dragons are vulnerable as fuck. Arrows penetrate them and have them screaming, the, the right size. So, how do y'all survive that? I mean, you, they, they can kill them with dragon glass, but somebody got to have a, a big old spear like they had the other thing. With you got to have aim like the White King, too. <laughs> exactly. He knew he was going to hit that John. He was like, great. <laughs> he went back and got another one. And it was about yeah. to get another one. God damn it. It turned. <laughs> so, no. Okay. Okay, y'all. All right. We got less than seven minutes. Okay. Okay. We did not talk about the Hound and Arya in that meetup. Oh, oh. and then the other fella, and Arya and, and the and the oh and the other yeah the, the, the Baratheon bastard, bastard. bastard, the Baratheon bastard, Gendry, 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 Gendry. Gendry. yes, that's his name. Okay, the Gendry, Robert, one of Robert's bastards, the Robert's bastards, or it's, Cersei and uh, was dead no, no. because no, what is it, Elon, Arion? Eon, what's his name? Eon, a plum fool, a pure fool. The 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 the, the water kids, <laughs> the water kids, the the iron, the, the iron joy, fleet. the great joy dude, the great joys. Okay. Right. was on the boat, and I was I was when snapping Cersei, to see the right. Right. I was, I was, oh. Yo, when Cersei was like, "You gotta earn it," and then she hit it, I said, "What are you doing?" Cersei, like you at least wait a what day. A day, seriously. You didn't wait five minutes. What are you doing? Like she was going through it. And then I'm like, maybe she's on a mission to make this look like this is his son. Make James That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought she that. ain't want to do with this man, but she, I got That's to get this over with. Arya, y'all, yeah. when you see Arya get no ding in this whole series, if Arya ends up getting with this fella and getting That'd be her... Kind of interesting. I would love that, actually. <laughs> actually, I'm here for Arya and him kind of linking up. I'm kind of here for it. I don't know that Arya, I didn't know that Arya was a lady for the fellas. I didn't know Me what she either. That's why I'm interested. <laughs> so, so, so really? I said, well, <laughs> I didn't know Arya was for anybody. I knew Arya was about her list and nothing That's else. It. Right? That's she's supposed to show us on her list. That's it. That's all she cared about. She didn't have And so else. now it's a little bit of flirty banter happening. And I'm like, well, she got time today, I guess. I like it. I like this on you, Arya. You better, you better get yours. <laughs> yeah, you better get your. When she told her how I robbed you too. Yeah, you left me for dead. I robbed you first. It's all fair. I mean, see, so you're a real cold bitch. What is that? What is that? Yeah, he called it. Like, that's the only way you survived or something. That's how you live this long. Yeah, I guess that is. Keep it moving. And then he just paid it. Like the hound don't hold no grudges. He gonna fight you fair and square. If I lose, I lose. That's exactly the way he is. That's why I love the hound. That's why the hound and Brielle. That's work. That's yep. why. Yeah. 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 So, all in all, any predictions for next episode or the next upcoming episodes? Anything that you guys are almost sure is gonna happen? Hope doesn't happen, but feel like it might. I no, think the war gonna kick off. That's what I feel like. This goddamn war. Who? But who? Is she, but you know what? Is there anybody? You know who we haven't heard from in a while. Who? Who? People from Dorne. Remember they heard the Dorne folks. Homeboy, so I'm like, okay, there's there's still some characters that could pop up. They still need to want revenge for Dorne. And I'm like, where the hell is Dorne? Somebody had to tell Dorne that they about to die. 
(laughs) (laughs) they might come up next episode uh anybody won't survive other main characters won't survive next episode if so who yeah Mm. for some reason i think jamie is gonna die i don't know when but i feel like he's going to die I could, probably I could, within the next two or three episodes. I feel like I can get behind that, Kaylee. I, feel like I don't I know why. It's in my bones. I feel like. Which of the Stark children? And Bran knows. And Bran that's knows. why he's sitting there peaceful. Mm. Mm-hmm. He like he got to see a one good time before he met his maker. <laughs> which, which of the Stark children, if any, might not survive the next episode? If Arya. Oh, don't you yeah. gotta, you bless them. But they do that. They do that. It's a bold. Like, I, can hang up, I will hang up and I won't return here. Don't you see? I can't believe how you see And it's, it's something that we would so nice expect because yeah. we, we, we still want to see her like grow and develop. But you know, uh, Arya, being that she is young, still young, she could overplay her hand. And I'm still curious. Like she didn't really have to, you know, we saw her one really episode just become a faceless person. And I'm like, so they never came back. I know Vengeance. It's a lot. I don't know. I feel like that could be something that could happen. I would be very sad if Arya goes. Uh, but now that she's saying it, it almost, oh God. It almost seemed like I it. Know. I just really want her and Cersei to see each other face to face and just have that yeah, moment. Time, her and Cersei going to die together. That's what's going to happen. Okay, let that happen. I, I, I'm okay with Cersei that. Cersei going to go down without a fight. But she's number one on her list, so I just need her to get that. That's it. Let's, please, that's her mission. She just please. needs to accomplish I will, go, I will go in peace with that. If Arya goes out taking out Cersei, I will go in peace with that. I will go in peace with that. I will say, you know what? Sometimes things happen. They do. Sometimes they, they do. do. Sometimes. So I'll, I'll, I'll take that. But guys, listen. I mean, I'm already excited about the next one. Maybe same. Same. I mean, y'all let us I know. No hot takes. Did we miss anything? Any symbolism that we might have that might have gotten past our high ass? No. I really want to know what's going to happen with Samuel Tarly, too. What is going to with Daenerys? That's my with Samuel. I think he's Samuel going to kill Daenerys. I think so. I think he's going to be the one. It's who. something that's going to happen with Samuel. I'm not completely sure, but... Uh, and how is Danny going to take this news? It's really going to be interesting to see that. I want to see that clash, too. Jon Snow. All right. Because you're saying she's saying that she's the rightful heir to the throne. She's the rightful person to be on the throne. And when she finds out that John actually is the rightful person, what the hell is gonna happen to that? And that what does that mean? So we're gonna have to put a pin in this. All right. Until next week. <laughs> <laughs>